we will come a time that we will have a nine boat, then we could reorganize. For the meantime, that we do not have a nine boat, it's only 8.5, then committee shall remain. That is the rolling of the chair. So we'll proceed on other matters. Bagamat na pagbutohan na ng sangguniang panglungsod sa kanilang council meeting noong January 29 na hindi aprobado ang reorganization ng mga committee heads sa Konseho ng Bagyo sa Botong 8-7 sa sumunod na sesyon noong February 5, binawi ito ni Presiding Officer na si Vice Mayor Faustino Olowan. Anya, nagkamali umano ito ng desisyon sa naturang sesyon. I made the ruling not knowing the decision of the Supreme Court, but we have to correct it. I think eight votes will enough for reorganization. Let us then reorganize. Sa naunang desisyon, ginamit nilang internal rules of procedure para matiyak ang maayos at organisadong pagdinig sa konseho. In your case, since you are 15, there definitely is no time. And there is definitely no seven and a half. Yes, Mr. Chair, that is why we there is uh, no half person, so uh, we go to we round off to the higher uh, next higher, uh, which is no because you add you need to add one, one half plus one is the determination of the majority. Ayon sa ilang miyembro ng konseho, ang desisyon hindi maaring basta basta bawiin ni Vice Mayor. No, so Mr. That, Chair, uh, as amendment to the minutes to reflect what actually transpired in that yes, item. Yes. Mr. Chairman, uh, I believe that uh, during our last discussion on this subject matter, there was a votation that was uh, conducted. In fact, the, the chair uh, made a ruling. It was an 8-7, and when it was clarified, the uh, uh, city secretary even made an explanation why uh, the 8-7 uh, did not uh, uh, go in favor of the proponent, Your Honor, because... Uh, as indicated by then uh, our city secretary, uh, he said that the votes to be uh, taken should be nine votes. Sagot naman ni Vice Mayor Olowan. I think uh, that uh, manifestation of abstention, I think it's a violation of our IRR. It is a violation in a way that uh, why this six person abstain to such at you are threatening the, demo, the, demo, the democratic ex practice of this institution. February 12, 2024, sinampahan na ng reklamo ng pitong konsihal ng Baguio si Vice Mayor Olowan sa Regional Trial Court dahil dito. Sa ilang pahinang reklamo, nakasaad na hindi na maaaring bawiin ni Vice Mayor Olowan ang kanyang naunang desisyon, lalo na't nakabase ito sa botong isinagawa sa pagpupulong. Hindi rin maaaring ipagpatuloy ang reorganization dahil hindi naman ito naaprubahan base na rin sa nanalong boto. Pero ayon kay Vice Mayor Olowan, masusunod pa rin ang kanyang desisyon sa reorganization. Katunayan, nakapag-reorganize na ang ilang mga committee. Like oh. for example, the Committee on Lands. Mm -hmm. uh, it is chaired by Honorable, uh, formerly by Honorable Yangot. Mm -hmm. Now it is chaired by the Honorable Fianza. Mm -hmm. The Committee on Laws, which was chaired by the Honorable uh, Fianza, mm -hmm. is chaired now by the Honorable uh, Molintas. Mm -hmm. The Committee on Public Transportation, it was chaired by uh, uh, Honorable Bumugaw. Mm -hmm. It was vacant, so it went to Councilor Bagbagan, Honorable mm -hmm. Bagbagan. So those, yung iba na retain yung committees yung committee. nila. Sa dokumentong nakuha ng news team sa legal team ng mga nagre-reklamong konsihal, nakasaad na naninindigan silang masusunod pa rin ang unang desisyon ng konseho. Hindi rin dapat muna magkaroon ng reorganization habang hindi pa nagde-desisyon ang korte. Bukas, February 16, nakatakdang magpasa ng position paper ang dalawang kampo sa Regional Trial Court First Judicial Region Branch 6 na ng Baguio City. Samantala, nasa kamay na ni Vice Executive Judge Michael V. Francisco ang desisyon sa isyong ito. Randy Guzman para sa Luzon Headlines.